will discuss about cell organelles. Uh, how can we understand about the term cell organelle? Like in our body, there are different organs present. So in the cell also, there are different small, small organs, which we call as cell organelles. These cell or organelles perform all the activities or functions in of the cell. Cytoplasm is the fluid content inside the plasma membrane. It contains many specialized cell organelles. Each of these cell organelles perform a specific function of the cell. Means every cell organelle is responsible for each particular function. First we will discuss about endoplasmic reticulum. This endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane bound tubes and sheets means it is composed of some tubes and sheets it looks like long tubules or vesicles it is present in the cytoplasm of all eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cell i told you that which have the true nucleus well developed nucleus so it is present in all the eukaryotic cell except mammalian rbc what is rbc red blood cells so in the red blood cells mammalian red blood cells it is absent Endoplasmic reticulum is of basically of two types, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. As the name indicates, smooth means the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum is smooth. If no thing is attached to the surface, then it is plain. So what is that thing which is attached? Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is smooth because ribosomes are not present on them and function it takes part in the synthesis and storage of lipids. Second one is rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is rough because ribosomes are attached to the outer surface of endoplasmic reticulum. And ribosomes are associated with the process of synthesis of proteins. So it means if the, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is associated with the process of formation of proteins. And smooth endoplasmic reticulum is associated with the process of formation of lipids and rough with the protein. Then we will discuss about function of endoplasmic reticulum. General function take part in the synthesis and storage of the lipids. Second one is help in the synthesis and transport of the proteins. Uh, provide mechanical support to the cell. Forms new nuclear membrane after every cell division. Uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum of liver cell take part in detoxification of many drugs and poison. Means the drugs and poisons or any toxins are present in our body, in our cell. Then smooth endoplasmic reticulum detoxify them. Then we will discuss about the difference between smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. In smooth, ribosomes are absent. Here ribosomes are present. Their protein synthesis does not occur. Here protein synthesis occur. It is related with the synthesis and storage of lipids. And it is res responsible for the synthesis and transport of protein. It detoxifies the substances. It does not detoxify the substances. Second cell organelle is Golgi apparatus. It was described by Camillo Golgi. And the Golgi operators consist of cisternae, vesicles and vacuoles. It is also present in all the eukaryotic cell except RBC. So in the RBC means the red blood cells, endoplasmic reticulum is absent. Golgi operators is also absent. Function, it helps in the synthesis of cell wall, plasma membrane and lysosomes. Lysosomes we will discuss later on. It helps in the secretion of mucus enzymes and hormones it acts as storage modification and packaging unit of products in vesicles means the main function of the golgi apparatus is the storage packaging and transportation of various products in the cell third cell organelle is mitochondria this is known as powerhouse of the cell powerhouse means because it gives energy to the cell it is found in both plant and animal cell consists of two membrane means it is a composed co covered by two membrane outer membrane and the inner membrane outer membrane is smooth 
and the inner membrane is folded into finger like projection like this one this is the outer membrane okay and this is the inner membrane these are the finger like projections okay so this is the structure of mitochondria then function it is the site of cellular respiration here cellular respiration occur so it is known as powerhouse of the cell because there is oxidation of glucose glucose is the food whatever food we take that uh, their oxidation occur in the mitochondria and release of energy in the form of atp our body gets the energy in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate <clears throat> next is plastics plastic this is known as kitchen of the cell as we get food from our in the house from the kitchen the cell get the food from the plastic so it is the kitchen of the cell plastids are the largest cell organelle present in the plant cell remember that plastids are always present in the plant cell and are double membrane structure these are of three types first one is chloroplast then chromoplast and then third one is leucoplast chloroplast chloro means green it contain the pigment chlorophyll and we all know that chlorophyll is required for the process of photosynthesis means the chloroplast is present only in the green part of the plant second one is chromoplast chroma means color other than green color all the plastids are included in chrom all the colored plastid are included this in this category chromoplast these contain yellow orange and red pigment they are mostly present in the petals of flowers and fruits you see that some flowers are red in color some are pink in color some are orange in color yellow in color so these colors are due to chromoplast and the color of fruit also is due to chromoplast you can see here yellow pigment is due to xanthophyll orange or red pigment is due to carotene third one is leucoplast leuco means colorless so those plastids which are colorless are known as leucoplast their main function is storage if they store starch they are known as amyloplast if they store protein they are known as alleuroplast if they store lipids they are known as alleoplast okay then function of plastic i told you separately that chloroplast they play an important role in the photosynthesis because they contain the chlorophyll chromoplast function they give the color to the flowers and fruits which attract the insects and leucoplast they act as storage unit they store the food then next cell organelle is vacuole vacuole means empty vacuoles are fluid filled membrane bound clear spaces in the cytoplasm means the clear spaces present in the cytoplasm which are membrane bound covered by membrane are known as vacuoles vacuoles are storage sacs for solid or liquid content vacuoles are small sized and more in number in animal cell means in animal cell there are many vacuoles and they are small in size but in the plant cell there is single vacuole and that is large in size function of vacuole in plant cell vacuole is full of cell sap and provide that is full of cell sap and it provide turgidity or rigidity to the cell means it keep the cell swollen they store the food material and waste product food vacuole in protozoan help in the digestion of food if these vacuoles store food then they are known as food vacuole if they store water they are known as water vacuole if they store gas they are known as gas vacuoles then next here is lysosomes lysosomes are known as suicide bags suicide means to kill themselves by itself these are found only in the animal cell means lysosomes are absent in plant cell these are spherical ves vesicles like structure and bounded by single membrane these are single membrane structure these contain several digestive enzyme 
Lysosome contain various digestive enzymes which are synthesized in RER. RER means rough endoplasmic reticulum and these are packed in lysosome. Means in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, various digestive enzymes are formed and they are packed in the lysosomes. Whenever these enzymes are released, they bring the digestion of various cytoplasmic structures and this is a kind of waste disposal system of the cell means whatever the waste is present in the cell that is digested by uh, a system which is known as lysosome it helps to keep the cell clean if the waste is expelled out the cell becomes clean then is the function of lysosome i told you that it is the suicide bag it protects the body from the bacteria and viruses by digesting them it destroy old worn out cell organelle it digest the stored food during starvation whenever we starve then it digest the stored food next is next cell organelle is ribosome ribosomes are known as protein factory of the cell factory means where the synthesis occur so protein factory is that factory where protein synthesis occur ribosomes are the smallest and spherical organelle they are non membrane bound means they are not membrane bound structure they are present in the cytoplasm they are present uh, in two location in the cytoplasm and second one i have told you that they are attached to the surface of the rough endoplasmic reticulum and its function is protein synthesis next one is centrosome and centrioles centrosome is not membrane bound structure it is found only in the animal cell and its main function is in the process of cell division whenever there is cell division it forms the spindle fibers and those spindle fibers uh, stretch the chromosomes and break them in the two parts that's why the cell divide into two so the centrosomes are responsible for the cell division and centrioles are responsible for the formation of cilia and flagella next is formation of new cell uh, this is a small topic i have discussed with you about the cell structure of cell how uh, cell is a structure and functional unit of cell now how new cells are formed in our body new cells are formed in the organism in order to grow to replace old and dead and injured cell whenever there is an injury in your body then old cells get worn out and new cells take the place of them that is how due to the process of cell division means the cell divide one cell divide into two then those two cells are divided into next four four into 16 like that circle four so there are two type of cell division first one is mitosis second one is meiosis in our body there are two type of cells somatic cells and germinal cells this mitosis occur in the somatic cells germinal cells are those cells which are related with the reproduction process and all the other cells are included in the somatic cells so mitosis is the process of cell division by which most of the cells divide for growth is called mitosis in this process mother cell divide to form two identical daughter cells means this is the mother cell okay this is the nucleus present in this and is it is divided into two daughter cell the so one cell is divided into two cell this is known as mitosis second one is meiosis if one cell is divided into four this is known as meiosis cells of the reproductive organs in animal and plants divide to form gametes in this process a cell divide to form four new cells so basic difference between mitosis and meiosis is in the process of mitosis two cells are formed from the old one cell or mother cell and in the process of meiosis four new cells are formed from the first cell so that's enough for today now we have completed the topic structure of cell and the chapter 5 of the uh, class like fundamental unit of life is completed thank you students please like share and subscribe my channel